beautiful souls. Welcome back to Fanny with Jesse, the life coach. So guys, today's video is all about hosting. I am surrounded by some of my favorite hosting pieces and it's because I'm getting ready for the holidays, right? Christmas is right around the corner and then it's followed by New Year's. So I thought it would be the perfect time to share some hosting pieces, right? They make excellent gifts and there's people hosting for the first time this year we have a lot of people who bought new homes we have a lot of people who just got married we have a lot of people who are just starting out and uh, there's people who just struggle with hosting just in general right they don't know what uh what's the right pieces to get uh they struggle with space and things like that and they're like on the fence like should i invest in certain pieces should i not so that's what today's video is going to be all about it's going to give us a chance to get off our heavy energies because my channel is all about personal growth, personal development, organization, right? Um, so sometimes it can be heavy energies and today is just going to be a, a fun time just thinking about how we turn our house into a home because I feel like hosting pieces, especially around the holidays, they give that extra warmth and nurture when people come into your home and they feel like you took all this time to appreciate them. And that's the way I feel it should be, right? It's like, this is the time we spend with our loved ones. And, you know, we celebrate the end of the year and this last couple of years has been heavy, right? So that's what I'm gonna be showcasing today. And I just wanna remind everybody that it takes time to get a house to a home. Right? So it took me years to build up my pieces. So just keep that in mind. It takes time and without further ado, cause I have a lot to show, let's get straight into it. So one of the first pieces I am going to talk about is the main dish we use to entertain, right? So one of my main pieces that I like to take out when I'm hosting for the holidays and it comes in really handy is this platter right here. So it's pretty large, I'm going to flip it over, but what's great about it is that it actually has handles and not only that, but it has like a curvature so this is great for large meats, right? Like your main dish. So this comes in handy for so many different things. You don't, you don't only have to use it for like meats. You could use it for things like paella, right? Like rice, you could use it for like seafood, anything that has like juices inside of it. But this is one of my favorite pieces. I actually wish when I purchased this, I should have bought more than one because at times when I do host, we actually have more than one main um dish so i would definitely say this is a staple piece if you are hosting and this makes an excellent gift for a hostess or host when we are first starting out we don't even think of these type of platters but they really do come in handy and they add such elegance to your table i think i would suggest if you are having large meats during this holiday season or whenever you're hosting is in to, um, to invest in proper like I don't even know what these are called. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what these are called. But these things, these thingies, they are great little investments. This is a must when we're talking about hosting because they come in handy. I know one year somebody in my household picked up the meat when, without the proper like um, grabbing utensils and it made a mess. It dropped. Thankfully, it dropped in the platter that it was made in. But if it would have fell on the floor, it would have been a disaster. So definitely investing in proper utensils, like picking up the meats and things like that is, is super important. So one of my favorite pieces I love for hosting and I am so glad I invested in is these type of serving dishes. And what's great about it is that it actually has a little candle in the bottom. So it keeps your items, whatever you put in here, nice and warm. And these are perfect for side pieces, side dishes. I actually have two of the regular singular ones that I showed you, but I also have this piece right and it's a double one so same concept this is great for like side dishes that you want to keep warm and um the great thing about these type of pieces is that once you prepare the food you can prepare it in advance and then put it in here and it'll keep everything nice and warm and who doesn't want to eat warm food especially on the holidays right a lot of people come at different times some people are running late so these are great because they'll keep your food nice and warm so there's a great depth to these platters so they hold a good amount of food the portion of what it holds is great and it just looks beautifully set on your table it's great for holidays when people are traveling and coming at different times and also it frees up space in your kitchen they make excellent gifts so keeping with the same theme i actually have the smaller versions of them and they look like this they are adorable <laughs> they're so cute 
and I love these little things and believe it or not they come in handy so I have a set of six I think I wish I would have picked up more I wish I would have picked up at least eight um so if you find these little things bag them <laughs> they come in handy and what these are good for is um I use this a lot because if I eat like lobster or like corn on the cob, the whole concept is that you obviously put the candle here and it's meant for like melting butter. And you could just put butter in here and everybody can have their individual little dipping section instead of having like one um, big stick of butter on the dinner table and just passing it around. You literally can just either put like um, chop up butter in advance and then just put it in and not melt it if you don't need like really melted butter like if you're using it for bread and things of that sort um, if not you can actually just put the butter in light the candle and it melts the butter so this is good for like uh, your lobster this is good for um, like I said corn on the cob and any type of dipping sauces to be honest you don't have to use it for butter you could use these for a cheese fondue night. You could use it for chocolate and strawberry night. It's great for syrup, so many ways to use it. So cute. These are just adorable. I love these. Keeping with the theme of keeping our food warm, every hostess or host needs a buffet warmer. These come in handy for any type of get togethers and occasions, especially when you're having a lot of people in your home. It actually is a three station. It's electrical, so it has its different components of low, medium, high heat. And what's great about this specific tray is you can take out the three little sections and it becomes a warming tray. So you can actually put any type of dishes that is heat resistant on here and it will keep your food nice and warm. So this makes an excellent gift. It's a little large, so you need space for it. But if you are getting into hosting or you're looking of ways to keep your food warm, this is the perfect piece to add to your arsenal and you will never be disappointed because you could use it so many ways. Now, when it comes to main serving pieces, we cannot forget the large flat platters that come in handy for anything you want to serve. So it's a must. I love appetizer dishes, but I don't like the basic plain dishes. I like everything to be a little bit different. feel like if you're going to do it, go all out and pick pieces that match your uniqueness or your personality and i don't do anything playing i'm not like a plain jane so i definitely love to pick like out of the box kind of pieces so home goods and stores like that is great for picking up these little side pieces they're, they're much cheaper they're beautiful they're always unique but you have to buy when you find them you gotta buy it all you gotta buy it all <laughs> so go there prepared to shop so appetizer pieces are a great way to add pizzazz to your dinner table they add so much flair to the event that you are hosting. They make beautiful and amazing gifts. And when you are shopping for these pieces, make sure you're looking for all different types of shapes and sizes. That other piece I have, this piece, as you can see, and this is more of like a circular, like a bowl shape. So I love to use this for like breads. Um, and once again, I use this when I'm regularly having dinner and I want to cut up some bread out. This would be one of my go-tos, but you can literally use this for anything. This is great for like potatoes and like mashed potatoes and so many different usages. You can also use this just like on your countertop or if you're decorating, like if you have a bar, you could put fruits in here. So once again, think outside the box, think of different ways that you could use your pieces. And then I have this piece. I actually have two of these and I use this for different things. I could use this for sides. I use this for, um, since it's like deeper, it has a, a, a greater depth. I use this for uh, things that like have um, liquids and things like that of the sort. So yeah. So once again, I love these pieces because they're very unique and they're very different. And it just gives it like a pop, right? The silver gives it like that pop on your table, right? Um, just brings your whole presentation to a different level. So if you're serving anything that actually has natural juices, like in my tradition, we actually eat pateles for the holidays. That's usually common in Hispanic families. So because of the way the platter is shaped and the depth of it, it's perfect for things of that nature, but you could use this for anything. So let's talk about like the little dishes. So these are like little dishes that you could use for appetizers or just anything that's small. You could use this for like a breakfast. 
You could cut off some pound cake, you could cut off cheese, you could cut some bread and put it on here. This is great for jams and things of that nature. So a lot of people overlook these small trays, but they are perfect for hosting, for those little things you want to put in there. And they make beautiful gifts. I love how it has the words of positivity and good vibes. If you're looking for appetizer dishes or like side pieces, you want to make sure that you pick, if you can, uh, pieces that have um, different compartments that way especially if you if you're working with a small space you can actually put like three dishes in one right you could put like small portions of each so i like to use this for so many different things i've actually showed this in another video of mine i'm going to put a little small clip here and i used it for salad but you i use this all the time i use it for different type of occasions and just for everyday dinner Right? You can put anything that you want in here and because it is white, it just matches with everything. So that's another tip. Like if you're just starting out and you're starting to gather your hosting pieces, a good tip is just to make sure that everything stays consistent with the color scheme and white. It brings a lot of light and you can match it with anything. So this is also a great platter to use for hosting because it's a good size. So I'm going to just hold it up so you can see. It's pretty large in size and you can use it for multiple things. I love that. It's size because it's versatile. When you're picking out pieces, it's great to have small and large platters. This is great and could be multi-purpose for so many things, so many reasons. It has a little bit of a depth to it. So uh, if you have anything with like um, natural juices or sources, it will actually hold it. It's not completely flat. So this is great for many things. Um, and I'm going to give you some ideas of how you could use this. So this next piece makes a great gift and every hostess needs. It's actually a chip and dip set and it's great because you could use the bowls individually or you could use it as a classic dip and chip set or you could put your veggies on the bottom and your dips on the top. Anything that requires a dip, this is your go-to. Next item is similar in concept as you can use the base it came with or you could use the trays individually. So it's like a two in one. It comes with three trays and it's good in size. It's not too small, it's not too big. It's like on the small, medium size, but these are great for appetizers. These are great because they come in tiers as well. So you could use them for anything. Another great piece that you could pick up when you're entertaining is these type of platters. And they're great because you could use them as obviously you could use them as your main side dishes but you could also use them for your appetizers and your hors d'oeuvres it has a little bling bling on the side so they actually make great pieces when holidays come in this piece is a classic for actually serving appetizers and hors d'oeuvres like in the classic sense like going around and passing it around because it actually has two handles on the side. It's not porcelain so if it falls it won't crack. If you have a small space or you're gifting someone a gift that has a small space this is a perfect gift. So a great piece for hosting is going to be these type of boards. So it's pretty large and what's great about it is that it... Spins. <laughs> so you could use it for multiple things and not only is it good for just hosting for holidays but you could use it for hosting for different um events around the year so let's talk about it so this piece is a little bit more rustic a little bit more everyday kind of use kind of piece but this is something that you need to have in your arsenal as a hostess it operates as a lazy susan so it's great if you have a lot of stuff on here you could just turn it everybody can get to every side of the board this is perfect for making security boards they are great for pizza nights you can actually put a large pizza here a piece of pie they are great for putting your drinks on it like serving drinks so so many different usages it's a must-have so let's chat about all those extra hosting pieces that you need but you did not know you needed it. So first up is utensils and the multiple ways you can use this. So one thing that people usually forget about or they usually skip is utensils. They forget about where to place the utensils. So this actually is a holder for the utensils. This is how it looks. So one thing you could do with this piece is you don't actually have to use the holder, right? If you have minimal space, you can actually just use um, these portions. And you 
You can use these actually as dipping bowls. They are pretty deep. This is like the depth of it. But what you could do is just like fill them up halfway. You don't have to go all the way up. And uh, something else that this is good for is if you're having a party with like french fries and sliders. Like I once hosted a gathering and I served sliders and french fries and I actually put the french fries in here and actually made a really nice presentation. So, so with hosting pieces, like I said, you could use them all year round. You just have to think outside the box and think of ways that you could use them and implement them into other, you know, times of the year where you're doing. Having basic events. So a great way you could use this is by cutting up some carrots and celery. Sweet potato fries fit perfectly in here and even asparagus. So this is one of my favorite hosting pieces and this makes such a lovely gift. It is a place holder and a menu board. So you can actually write on here all the different types of foods when you have some like odd foods instead of people always asking you what's on the table, what's this, what's that. You just write it and it makes great placement cards for when you're having a dinner party. Now this is the tray you are going to use when you have items that need to stay cold. This is a perfect little gift. I love the look of it. And the way it works is on the top, there's a tray, it's a bowl. And then underneath, it's another bowl. And here is where you put the ice. So you put the ice and on the top, you put whatever needs to stay cold. So you could put shrimp cocktail in here. This is great for guacamole. And what's great about this is that it even has its own lid. So you can actually put it right in your fridge when you're done. So one thing that people always forget to purchase is a gravy bowl. And this is actually a gravy bowl. I think I picked this up from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, this is great for like when you're doing like buffet styles for like breakfast or you're doing a brunch. There's always some type of gravy or sauce you are going to use. So this is perfect for that. And what I love about it is that it comes with a ladle. And most gravy bowls do not come with its adjacent pieces. So it makes for a perfect little gift and it comes in handy. Next category is all about salads. You don't have to be salad dressing. You could use this for Oreos. You could use this for um, any type of sources you are using. But um, these really do come in handy and they just make the presentation of the table look just very different when you're hosting. So my next item up is salad serving utensils. And these little sets make perfect little gifts because once again, it's those things that we forget to pick up. We forget to think about and they make the perfect little presentation they take your regular salad bowls and take it to the next level because it adds that little bit of elegance to already playing salad bowls and it makes perfect for the holidays so if you are hosting this year definitely pick up a great set so my next item up is a bowl so i actually have this bowl and um, it's great because it has like these little mini handles so snubs which um, can be used as handles you can actually grip it so it's great for carrying because it is a large bowl and what I like to use this for is my salads but because of its shape and its depth I could use it for salads and I could also use it for like punches and different things of that sort so having a great size bowl like big bowls like this they really do come in handy. They make great gifts and you could use it for multiple purposes. When you're shopping for stuff, you want to make sure you're using it for multiple things. So I have this platter right here, which is also good for like little uh, dipping sauces or um, something that you want like divided, something that you need to cut up. And once again, because it's three in one, it has like a smaller footprint and I'm not buying three additional items. It's one, three in one. So I actually show this in my latest video on um, the pantry organization, but having some nice um, oil and vinegar bottles are perfect for hosting because it has that curvature. It looks a little different, it's very stylish, and this is great. So when company come over or you're hosting, you could just take it out and they can use it, right? Instead of going and going right using the regular bottles, right? That the oils and the vinegar is coming. So this is a nice way of jazzing up your table and even your kitchen. These make great little gifts for someone who's just starting out, someone who just moved in their first place, someone who's gonna start hosting, someone who just got married. Like you can give to those type of people, right? Um, they'll love it because sometimes this is things that we don't really think of. It's not the main type of um, elements that we think of hosting. So trust me, they'll love it. So I have so many of these, but these come in handy. These are little picks to pick up the adverbs um, and little appetizers, right? So I have, I don't know, like three or four sets of these and different types of styles, but these come in handy and they're super small, but 
is something that people usually forget like how people are going to pick things up sometimes we have like little appetizers that make a mess and you need like little forks so instead of getting a bunch of forks you pick these up and you're ready to go i actually have this little crystal platter and this is great for like um entertainment crackers um, and this are, these are little things that make great little hosting gifts because um crystal is expensive it's not it's not cheap um but yeah if you can find like little accent pieces like this i would definitely say you know start adding them to your arsenal keep this in my bar when company come over i like to put like a little spread in here for them um and it's just nice you know it just has a beautiful presentation it's nice and classy So one thing I have, and this is perfect for like little appetizers, is these little um, serving um, cups. I picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond. I love these things. They are so cute and they come in handy. You can use this also for like dips and sauces. I use this to serve shrimp cocktail, like putting the shrimp on the side. Um, sometimes I'll put like dipping sauces in the inside. I'll dress this up with different ways. Like I'll put like plantains, I'll like cut a slit and put it on one side and I'll use that with like shrimp and just decorate the middle. So I love these things. They come in really handy. They're great for like little appetizers. Um, you can use this once again for every like little, like just little things. You can use it for like little desserts and you can use them as shot glasses. So you know, in the holidays, you might need some like, <laughs> when you're dealing with the family members, you might need a quick one, you know, one, two going on there. <laughs> but yeah, th these are great. The pack comes with a few in the set, so they definitely are useful. And I'm going to be showing in another video the rest of barware and desserts. But this is the last suggestion I have for you guys and it's all about napkins. Get some nice linen napkins and every hostess needs to have it and they make great little gifts with its adjacent pieces. So if you guys love this type of video, give me a thumbs up so I can start creating more for you. Let me know which were your favorite pieces if you had any and any suggestions on where you shop. I would love to know. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you and I will see you all in my next one. Love and light. Bye my beautiful souls.